Hi fishy folks and welcome to a very special unboxing in Michael's Fish Room. First, before we talk about the unboxing, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for some pretty cool looking guppies, these really cool shirts, and soon plecos. We have L144 Lemon Blue Eye Babies. Those are gonna, probably gonna be about a month or two months before they're up on the website, but shortly I'll have albino bristlenose plecos one inch or more uh, on the website, and hopefully soon after that we'll have some regular calico bristlenose and just regular bristlenose as well. So, guys, don't forget to check out the website for me. I really appreciate it. Hey, do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, why don't you go ahead and do so. I'm almost at 10,000, and uh, that's kind of a goal of mine for this year. And, uh, you know, don't forget, gently caress the notification bell after you smash the subscription uh, button. And, uh, yeah, you know, tell all your friends what a great looking and funny guy I am. So, folks, let's talk about what's in this box. What do you think it is? Could it be more plecos? Possibly it's guppies. I don't know. You know what we should do? We should find out where I'm going to put whatever's in this box. Stand by. Well, all right, fishy folks. Here is a 20 long, half filled with water. Uh, no filter, probably needs to be cleaned on the bottom, crap on the outside. Yep, that's not where the whatever is in that box is going. <coughs> Perhaps I've started to clean out this tank. This is a 20 uh, high, and uh, maybe it's going in here with these platies and guppies. Or maybe I'm going to catch all the platies and sell them and move the guppies and put it in here. Hmm. Maybe it's going in this empty 20 down here. Or maybe it's going in the 75, which, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see, there's no fish. Actually, there is a uh, L333 King Tiger Pleco that's probably hiding. Um, yeah. Hey, guys, look at all my food. I got this great new uh, guppy pellet from Cobalt. Lisa from Super Cichlid sent it to me. Check out supercichlids.com and use promo code SHIP for free for free shipping. I got, of course, kelp wafers for all my plecos, ginormous bag, and some Japanese food and North Finn, and you know, of course we have the, the ocean, oh, sorry, I was, was talking about what's going in here. So you wanna know what's going in here, don't you? I cleaned a filter, actually. I'm, I'm like excited about what's going in here. Should we go back and do the unboxing? Look, look folks, there's the box. Live fish, fragile. All right, stand by. All right, fishy folks, the moment we've all been waiting for. I got my man knife. I'm gonna carefully open this box, which looks like, it's kind of weird how it's closed, but. Now for the record, I've had, I don't know, 10 different shipments of fish shipped to me. I've shipped hundreds, not hundreds, a hundred different orders. I've never ever gotten one or sent one overnight. This is overnight. I paid overnight shipping. Actually, I paid for a deal. I didn't really even realize it was overnight shipping. So there's a great little styrofoam container in here. Oh, we're gonna take it out of the box. Put that on the floor. What does that say? Roberto, Michael. All right, I'm Michael. This one's mine. be very careful because I don't really know how this is packed. This is a sharp knife guys, be careful. You can't see what's in there, can you? Me neither. I hope it's alive. I gotta be honest. I hope it's alive. Ooh, stickers and some some food samples. Look, that'll tell you. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna save this box because I like to recycle. I'm gonna put that over here, and we're gonna open this. It's sealed with one of those metal rings, but I'm gonna use my knife to get the outside bag open. It's quadruple bagged. And this bag,
this bag is covered. Well, we're doing this live, folks. We're doing it live. Move this stuff out of the way. Oh, drop the food packet. This is heavy duty, people. Tell you what, it's not a guppy. Can you guess what it is? I got the perfect name picked out. Man, this is no joke. It's alive. There's three bags. Three bags. Are you ready? Do you want to see what it is? Me too. Ta-da! That's right, fishy folks. Michael's Fish Room is the proud owner of a super red dragon flower horn. All right, folks, I'm going to uh, get him in his tank and I'll take some more footage. And we'll talk about his name and who I ordered from and all that stuff, so stand by. All right, fishy folks. My new flower horn is in the 75 gallon tank getting acclimated. He's pretty pale. Uh, he's got to really, you know, settle in. Uh, I did plop and drop as I always do with fish are shipped. <coughs> now he was shipped overnight and uh, I paid a total of $100 for this fish. I believe 50 was shipping and 50 for the fish. I got it from Julie Tran, whose uh, website is Aqua Craze. Check out Aqua Craze for all your flower horn needs. She has food, <coughs> excuse me, and some other stuff. And uh, the Facebook store is also Aqua Craze. Now, I went, uh, somebody tagged me in a post that knew I was looking for a flower horn. And I would say within about 15 minutes, the deal was done. I told her which one I wanted. Uh, we messaged back and forth. She sent me a PayPal invoice. I paid it immediately. She said she could ship it the next day, which would be uh, Wednesday for Thursday <coughs> or Thursday for Friday. So I chose Thursday for Friday, assuming I was gonna be home early today. Unfortunately, I got stuck. It's Friday, by the way. You're gonna watch this on Sunday, but uh, unfortunately I got stuck uh, in Baltimore for work and I didn't get home till after eight. So he arrived around 11. <coughs> My son took him inside for me, put him on the kitchen table, and uh, I got home at eight, unboxed him, and boom, there he is. So uh, Aqua Craze, Julie Tran, flower horn super red dragon flower horn guys if you don't know about flower horns that makes two of us i know it's a uh, man-made fish it's a uh, parrot and something else i'm sure if you guys know about um flower horns leave it in the comments below what it is how they make them i did read some stuff on uh wikipedia about their history and um they started in 1993 didn't come to the United States till later in the 90s but that's a whole nother lesson all right folks you want to see uh, see the flower horn in the tank I'll show them to you stand by all right fishy folks there he is and of course going with my uh, typical Star Wars naming uh, phase welcome Michael's fish room chewy his name is Chewy. I was considering calling him the real Frank, but I don't know, I thought some people might might take offense to me calling him the real Frank. So I'm gonna call him Chewy. You call him Chewy as well. So I'm gonna let him get acclimated. He seems to be pretty social already, but I'm gonna let him get acclimated and uh, I'll come back and take some more, some more video for you guys probably tomorrow. Uh, it's about eight, nine o'clock. Friday night, so let him get acclimated overnight, and uh, hopefully he'll eat tomorrow and we'll be good. So uh, we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Well, hello, fishy folks. It's about uh, 7 a.m. on Saturday morning, so I don't know, about 10 hours since I put Chewy in the tank. <coughs> I'm getting sick, folks. It's a summer cough. It's kicking my booty. Anywho, um... He's colored up nicely. Look at him checking himself out in the mirror like, damn, that's a fine looking fish inside. Oh wait, that's me. And then he smiles, smirks and yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited. He colored up rather quickly, I think. 
and uh, he seems comfortable in the tank, although he hasn't eaten yet. I've tried some North Fin Community, which is, you can see along the bottom. <clears throat> First thing I tried was this, uh, this food that Julie sent along. She sent two of these little pouches. Um, super color enhancing food, 9.9, .9, made in Thailand with an American flag, which is kind of interesting. 9.9 .9 super food when color is what matters. So, I mean, I don't really know anything about that food. There's no ingredients on it. I can buy color enhancing food that I know what's in it. I'm sure that's good food. I just don't know what, what it's all about. If you guys know, <clears throat> leave me some comments in the section below. Also, let me know what you feed your flower horn uh, for growth and color and a big hump, which is called a cock. But I'm not gonna be saying that too often because I think YouTube might have a problem with that. So hopefully you don't have a problem with when I said it just now. So anywho, um, I'm gonna let him, you know, kind of chill for most of the day today. And I have to go to the local fish store and get some blood worms, some out of blood worms. I fed them to all my guppies. My last bit of blood worms yesterday. I was planning on going to the local fish store tomorrow to get some, but I'll stop by today, pick up a couple flat packs and <clears throat> we'll go from there. Hopefully he'll eat some of those or he'll just feel comfortable and eat what I, whatever else I put in the tank. I will probably come up, come in here in the next day or so and clean the tank a little bit more. I did do a quick <clears throat> vacuum of the bottom before I put them in uh, after I moved the goldfish. You might be saying to yourself, I wonder what happened to the goldfish. I'll tell you about that in a second. Anyway, <coughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to keep the tank Try to get the tank bottom a little cleaner. There is also a L333 King Tiger Pleco in here. I will probably move him out shortly. I just have to figure out where I can put him. Um, it's my understanding that pretty much nothing really likes, flower horns really like nothing else living in the tank. And if they do, it's gotta be pretty big and badass, like maybe that big common Pleco, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna put the common Pleco in here and uh, have to worry about cleaning it as much. All right, that's enough of me rambling about poop. Hope you guys uh, enjoy my new pet. <clears throat> His name is Chewy. Why? Because I'm a Star Wars nerd and uh, I've always wanted to name a pet Chewy. So boom, there's Chewy. He will be uh, coloring up more, I'm sure. And uh, I'll be, uh, you know, kind of documenting his growth in videos. Um, and so I hope you guys come along for the ride. Leave any comments or suggestions you have down below. And uh, cause I'm kind of a newbie with flower horns. I know a little bit about them, but I'd like to know everything I can. So hope you guys enjoy and uh, we'll see you soon.